As we come to you here at Apocalypse Ministries, we wanted to take a moment today and just slow down a little bit and show you a few things uh, about the ministry and to thank you for your support and to show you exactly what we need going forward to be able to continue to do ministry and to reach people all throughout the world. Because the work that we do here, just as in other ministries, because of technology, the word of God that is put forth, the different videos that are put out are able to reach people worldwide. And so we're speaking to you locally. We're speaking to you worldwide. We're speaking to you internationally to let you know that Apocalypse Ministries needs your support today. If you've ever supported the work here uh, and, you, and you are continuing to do so, we want to say thank you. If you've supported the work here and, 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 and you're wondering what's going on here, we want to take a moment to show you what is happening here, what the needs of the ministry really are. And if you've never supported the work here, we, we want to encourage you to prayerfully consider supporting the work that is done here at Apocalypse Ministries. I won't take the time today to go all the way back to when it began, when my father began the ministry. But brothers and sisters, this ministry has been going on for the last 20 plus years. And brothers and sisters, God called me into this work to take my father's place, to continue to prepare people to stand true to God during the investigative judgment. Brothers and sisters, I, I don't know if you're aware, but we are at the end of all things. And God's work needs to continue. There are so many people that need to be reached. There are so many people uh, outside of the Ark of Safety that need to be reached. But there are so many people inside the Ark of Safety that need to be reached. Brothers and sisters, we're here in a nice building that was built by my father before he died. Uh, a building that will hold a, a good number of people where we can do classes and, and we can shoot videos and we can do podcasts. We can have events here, brothers and sisters. But for all of that to continue going forward, we need your support. I want to be very honest with you that at this moment, we need your support. And if you have been supporting, I just want to say thank you and, 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 and continue I pray by God's grace that you'll be able to continue supporting the work that's here. If you've not ever supported the work here, like I said before, we want to ask you to prayerfully consider putting a seed into this ministry that we may be able to continue forward in God's work. It is definitely God's work. And brothers and sisters, it is up to us to do all that we can to put forth God's work. Here at Apocalypse Ministries, I want you to be clear that the monies that are collected here are used in the ministry, are used for putting forth God's work. That's all they're used for. And so we just want to talk to you today to show you some things uh, project-wise that uh, needed to be done and some things have been able uh, to be completed, but there are other things that have not been able to be completed and we need to be able to complete those things. And to do that, we need your help. So take a journey with me as I go around the building to show you some of the things that uh, were projects that were incomplete, now they are complete, and what we're working on, what we're trying to work towards so that we can continue to use the building to do God's work. So now we're standing in the hallway uh, that leads into the main hallway that leads to the learning center. And if you've been here before, you may recognize this hallway uh, as you walk through the cafeteria and walk up the steps and then come down this hallway heading into uh, the meeting center, uh, where, as we call the learning center. But the issue we're having here, as you may have men as uh, you may have heard me mention before, is the roof needs repair. And this is where the roof needs to repair. Now, it needs to be repaired. Now, I'm <coughs> excuse me, but I'm standing in the hallway up under some light so that you can see me clearly. In a moment, we're gonna turn and show on camera what we're dealing with and what happens whenever it rains, a little bit or a lot, um, so you can see what we're trying to get fixed. And we've gotten some uh, estimates on it so we know about how much it's going to be to get it fixed where it will not leak again. 
but because the water has been coming in so much, the light that's right by where this is coming in, the light does not work anymore because it needs to be replaced due to the electrical coming in contact with water. And so in this hallway uh, is where there's a hole in the roof. And it is whenever it rains, a little or a lot, water just comes rushing in this hallway. And so we're having to put down garbage cans and buckets to try to catch the water and keep the floor as dry as possible. But to get it fixed is going to cost something. And we were not able to, I'll be honest, we were not able to take care of it uh, without your support. This ministry is 100% donor supported. And so with, with your support, uh, we're able to do things. Without it, things become a bit of a challenge. So we're coming to you to give you just a little bit of a visual as to what really needs to be done. So this is the hallway and I'm standing under the light. Now I'm about to walk past the camera. It's probably gonna get a little dark so that you can see exactly what I am referring to. And so uh, you can see in the ceiling there, there's a hole here. And uh, we didn't know we had a problem until it was a little too late. And so now that we know we have a problem, we've got to get it fixed. The insurance won't cover it for various reasons. I won't get into that here. But below here, you'll see a garbage can that's actually full of water. Uh, we were on a mission trip going to spread the gospel and it only rained a little bit, but when we came back, it was full of water yet again. And so we're gonna stay vigilant to try to keep the floor from getting wet and to keep other things from getting wet, but we need your support to get this project completed so that this will not continue to happen. If you were here at one of our last meetings, you probably saw that this hallway was cordoned off and this is why. And so we will take, we will continue on through showing different projects uh, in the building, but here uh, is where we need your help right away to get this taken care of. Okay, here we are. We're outside of the building. You can see the bright sunshine that's out here in the afternoon. But I wanted to take a moment and show you one of the projects that have been completed. For many years, uh, the steps have been here as you walk up to the building, but there were no handrails. And we were informed by uh, our insurance provider that we needed to get these as soon as possible. And so in making a request to you to let you know that we needed to get this done right away, uh, we were able to get this taken care of. And it was done by a Seventh-day Adventist welder uh, in our community. And so his name is Brother Kelvin Nichols, and we are very thankful for the work that he has done here. And seeing that they are well put together, they go from top to bottom, and we're going to paint them and make them aesthetically pretty uh, so that now it is very safe to walk up and down the stairs uh, in your suits or in your long dresses with heels or whatever you're wearing. Uh, now you have something to hold on to no matter what side of the steps you're on going up or going down. It is now much, much safer. And for that, we say thank you for your support because this is one of the projects that has been taken care of and it was of utmost necessity to be able to continue using the building. All right, here we are by the back door uh, in the learning center itself. You can kind of hear a little echo as we're talking here because there's no one in the room right now. But by this back door, as if you, well, I'll, I'll, I'll say this, if you have seen or you receive our Monday communication from the ministry, pictures of this project and uh, of the project at the stairs have been put in there. But we wanna show you a visual today. Uh, right here where I'm standing was a hole in the floor. It had just gotten wet uh, due to some issues with the door frame. And so as we realized what we needed to do to get it fixed, we put out a request to let you know that we needed to get this repaired. And you answered the call to get the hole in the floor fixed. Now some of this, None of these chairs were here. They were all taken out because carpet had to be rolled back, wood had to be replaced, different things had to be replaced, and the door frame had to be replaced so that we could fix the issue so that it would not happen again. But as you can see, the floor is fixed. It is sturdy. Uh, no, there's no possibility uh, that you're gonna fall through the floor here now. And we just praise God that you answered the call 
to complete this project. And so brothers and sisters, I just wanted to give you just a few of the projects here that need to be uh, finished, uh, need to be done so that we can do our best and given the quality that God's work needs. Also in this room, uh, we need to add additional lights. We have needed them from the beginning uh, when this room was uh, built, when this addition was built, and we just have not been able to get those put in because it just is a sizable project that needs to be done. But because we do TV quality broadcasting from here, uh, it has been necessary. We have been counseled time and time again by different professionals in the industry that we need to add more light and that possibly we would not have to change our cameras if we could upgrade the light. And so I'm coming to you to show you, uh, you can't see anything except for just know we need to add lights so that the stage can be lit. If you have been here before and uh, you know attended a program here or a class and you've noticed that we rarely sit on the stage, it is because the cameras struggle to keep it bright enough for it to be clearly seen. And so we normally stand on the floor, but we really would like to use the stage space and to be able to put more chairs in here so more people can attend. To do that, we need to add lighting to the ceiling so that the stage would be adequately lit so that when you're watching or video is uh, recorded in here and you watch it, it will be pristine quality. And so these, these are just some of the projects that we need here. And then the, the, some, one of the biggest projects that we need here in the building is just simply the monthly upkeep of this facility. In order for these lights to be on and the air conditions to run and, and people to be able to be in here comfortably so that the kitchen can be used, classes can happen, there is a monthly upkeep of the building uh, to keep the lights and the utilities and the water and the printers and, and all of these things. All of it costs something. Brothers and sisters, we are appealing to you uh, that we need your support. And we will be glad for your one-time gift. But brothers and sisters, honestly, we need your ongoing support uh, for the upkeep of this building. And I know that there are many requests being made upon God's people to support different ministries uh, everywhere. And I'm aware of that and I respect that and pray for their support as well. But I'm coming to you because we need your support, your continued support, so that this place can be used for what it was built for, to have more classes here, to have more programs here, to have more cooking classes and prepare and work to prepare a people to stand true to God during the investigative judgment. Brothers and sisters, we are trying our very best to be as economical as we can, to use God's money as efficiently as we can, but to be able to go forward, we simply need your support in this endeavor. And so brothers and sisters, I, I love God's work. Uh, it does come with its challenges, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Jesus is getting ready to come, brothers and sisters. And whatever time we have left, we must go forward as hard and as fast as possible because time is running out. God's people need to hear the truth. They need to be prepared to see him in peace. The world is waiting on soldiers and God's army at the end. And we, by God's grace, are trying to do all we can in, in our part of the vineyard to prepare a people to stand true to God during the investigative judgment.